Hey, welcome back everyone. So finally, PlayStation 5 gets that needed update for VRR, which stands for Variable Refresh Rate. Now, what's so cool about this new feature that's added onto the PlayStation 5, obviously you have to have a television that supports Variable Refresh Rate, 120 Hertz. But what's so cool about this new feature is the fact that not only is it gonna you know utilize 120 hertz on the supported 120 hertz uh video games that are already enabled 120 hertz but at the same time you can apply this vrr variable refresh rate even to the games that are not supported like it says right here turn on the vrr even for the ps5 games that don't support it this may improve video quality for some games. Turn this off if you're experiencing unexpected behavior during gameplay. So this is pretty cool. So even though uh, the game doesn't support 120 hertz, you can still turn this feature on and force it uh, on top of the HDR. That's pretty cool, actually. This is a pretty cool feature that's uh, on the PlayStation 5. And clearly, as you can see, my television supports 120 hertz right there. This is CE10 uh, that was given to me by LG. So let's go ahead. Let's try uh, one game really quick. Any game. I'll just pick a random game and let's try it out. How about an Elden Ring? Right? Let's try out Elden Ring. Let's see how that will work. Because Elden Ring is 60 FPS, and on top of 60 F, we're gonna force 120 Hertz. So let's check it out. There we go. Instant game response is launched. 120 Hertz. There's also another way for us to check to see if uh, we're forcing the 120 Hertz, which I'm gonna check right now. You see right there, it's already letting me know that it's under VRR. You see that right there? Right on the top, it's already letting me know that's on VRR. Now keep in mind, keep in mind, it's still gonna say 60 Hertz, but the VRR, it's being forced, so we still have VRR being forced. But let's play the game, let's see what happens while we're playing the game. Now to turn this feature on, you have to press this red button, this red button, multiple times for that to show up here, I'll show you. It's gonna show up. There it is, you see it? Now it's on the left side. All right, the game's loading up. There we go. I'm gonna adjust my uh, exposure. Oh yeah, this is definitely better, man. Uh, I know it says 60 Hertz, but oh my goodness, the, this is way better. Twenty hertz. It's being forced here, and it looks mighty good. Well, let's try this again. All right, let's go. Let's see. Nice.
I mean, it's definitely better. I mean, I don't know how much camera can depict this, but I can tell you, like, uh, moving the characters, everything feels lighter and better. Lower latency. Uh, it just feels more fluid. And this is the fluid, the most fluid that you're going to see this game run. Even more fluid than the PC version. So the PS version is the best version, guys. This is the benefit of a PlayStation 5. This is what me and Cameron were talking about. And keep in mind, both me and Cameron, we have Xbox. We have, you know, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but, come on, man. Are you trying to tell me that you're going to play uh, Elden Ring on a PC instead of... Like right here on, on this beautiful OLED TV with 120 hertz, 60 FPS. Of course, you're going to play it here. So, yeah, this is awesome. And this is not even supported. That's the beauty. Like, uh, this game doesn't even support 120 hertz. But we are forcing it now. We are forcing 120 hertz. And we still get a benefit out of it. Let's try another game. Let's try Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 7 really quick, shall we? All right, so this is Gran Turismo. Oh yeah. I mean, you noticed it right away, guys. You noticed this right away when you are uh, playing. Like the car feels lighter. It doesn't feel heavier. Like when you have all that compressed, you know, um, latency and lag uh, and this is a game that's not even 120 hertz supported so even games they're not 120 hertz supported they will still get the benefit of uh, of this feature remember you have to have a 120 hertz uh, television which I assume majority of you do have it so turning this feature on it's only gonna benefit you playing these games on the on your uh, beautiful OLED TV and uh, enjoy these PlayStation 5 games you know I think it's awesome and again it the camera cannot depict this there's something you have to put a controller on to appreciate the 120 Hertz forced you have to basically see it for yourself and you have to use a controller to uh to play these games to understand like uh how uh accurate and how fluid this is you know so there you have it guys uh, a short little video i just wanted to show you this uh very impressed indeed very impressed uh, i like this new update i like what playstation is doing this year uh, I think next year PlayStation is going to be even more better uh, considering that the PlayStation VR 2 is going to be coming out. Um, and uh, who knows, maybe in the future we might see a PlayStation Portable 2 coming out. I heard some rumors. Kind of like a Steam Deck, but uh, Sony's version of that. So this is a definitely... Uh, things are looking up for Sony, man. Uh, this year and the next especially next year especially next year um, so well there you have it guys so you go to the settings over here go to the uh, screen and video go to the screen and video here go to the screen and video and then you come down here where it says VRR, keep it automatic, and also apply to unsupported games. So there you go. Not only do you have a variable refresh rate, but you also got a variable refresh rate on the games that don't even support it, and you also have HDR turned on as well. So you got VR, VRR, variable refresh rate, and HDR turned on at the same time on your beautiful OLED TV so this is now is the time to get the LG or you don't have to get the C10 you can get a C1 or how about a 42 inch uh, C2 you can go with something cheaper you can get a LG uh, C2 uh, OLED 
and enjoy that you know me personally I already have two OLEDs so I don't need one I already got two of them I got an E8 and C10 that was given to me uh, but yeah guys uh, this is great I love it and I think uh, you guys should go ahead and uh, turn this on I would turn this feature on at all times you're only going to benefit from this so there you have it guys I'll, I'll see you later on on the live stream take care cheers